from a little scroll that will make you defecate yourself out of anger or joy to a piece of a shield that has caused some of the best freakouts by human beings seen on camera, we count down 10 of some of the most rarest and most desired drops in RuneScape. Number 10, the Crystal Triskelion. Put together after obtaining all three Triskelion fragments, this key will direct you toward a rock face found just southeast of the Golden Apple Tree and the Divination Colony in the Fremenic Province. Once there, you can use the key to open the rock face and receive your reward, which could include herbs, ores, charms, various dragon equipment, ancient effigies, or dragonstone armor. Number 9, the left shield half. In the very beginning of RuneScape, the dragon square shield was the best shield in the entire game, so getting one of these drops used to be like getting a Vissy drop on old school RuneScape today. You can buy the right half of the shield in the Legends Guild for 750k, and hunt for the left half of it if you choose to, and if you find them, you can combine them to make the actual shield. Number 8, clue scrolls. People are always wanting more clue scrolls. You can only hold one at a time though, and a hard or an elite clue scroll might just be your ticket to being more richer than you've ever been in your time of playing RuneScape. Most of the time you won't get anything too extraordinary from these things, but sometimes you might get one of the most desired third age items and have a reaction similar to this guy. Oh my fucking god, third age fucking play buddy, oh my god, oh my god, oh my fucking god, ah, 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 oh my god, oh my god. Oh. My. Fucking. God. Number 7. Dragon Chain Body. Dropped by the Calphite Queen, Dust Devils, and other forms of Dust Devils, this definitely deserves a slot in the countdown with a drop rate from Dust Devils that has a 1 out of 32,768 chance of dropping. For a long time in the history of RuneScape, it has been one of the most sought rare items from various monsters, but sadly many have been disappointed. Number 6. Dragon Claws. Brought into the game upon the release of the quest while Guthic sleeps, you can acquire these claws as a drop from Tormented Demons after have completing the while Guthic sleeps quest in the area where you had the boss battle within the quest at the end of it. These are mainly wanted for their melee rushing abilities whether you're fighting monsters or other players. Number 5. Dragon Full Helms There's sort of two ways to get this drop. You can either kill Mithril dragons all day long until you get one, or you can use a more efficient way of hopefully obtaining one, which is using the chewed bones you get from Mithril dragons, which are also a rare drop on their own, on the pyre ship, and then lighting it. There are 1 out of 250 chance of receiving the helm using the chewed bones method, and it'd be worth getting one of these because in OSRS right now, they're 30 mil each. Number 4, God Wars armor, weapons, and their pieces. Whether you're wanting Bando's armor or an Armadil God Sword, or any other God Wars related item for that matter, your best bet on getting one if you're not rich enough to do so is doing God Wars dungeons all day long. These bosses drop some of the most valuable combat related items within the game, and I personally really want an Armadil crossbow because I am getting tired of my rune one. Number 3, an Ancient Summoning Stone. It's a very rare drop from the RuneScape 3 boss called Virago, perhaps the toughest boss in RuneScape 3. Basically what this stone does is you have the choice of using it and upon which it will be destroyed to receive the Vitalis pet. And when other players interact with your pet Vitalis, it will tell them how many times you've actually slayed Virago. Number 2, Draconic Visage. So many players have spent months in RuneScape killing the KBD, Metal Dragon, Skeletal Wyverns, Celestial Dragons, and the Queen Black Dragon in hopes of getting one of these. Once you've obtained one, you can either then sell it for a nice profit, or if you have level 90 smithing, you can use it with an anti-dragon fire shield to make the very powerful dragon fire shield. Number 1, Spirit Shield Sigils. Upon completing the quest Summer's End, you'll get a basic spirit shield, which can be combined with a holy elixir and will make a blessed spirit shield. The blessed version of the spirit shield can then be combined with one of the four rare drops by the corporal beast known as spirit sigils, and the most sought one by players in old school runescape is the Elijah one because an Elijah spirit shield ranges anywhere from 500 mil to 570 mil right now. That's it for this countdown, and if you know what I should be counting down next, post it in the comments and let's make it happen. I hope you guys have a good week since it is Monday, and I will talk to you all later.